So guys, how are you doing? And today I'm going to show you how to make a login page using JavaScript. So actually I am doing a bit of JavaScript today. Um, this project will allow you to um, log in by writing in your username and your password. Now those passwords are going to be predefined and the username will be predefined too in JavaScript. Um, so you wouldn't want to be using this anywhere, you know, on your website, you know, your own personal website, which um, you will have to do more background work to actually make the login thing even work better and whatever else. So this is more for like maybe a project, like a college project. For example, I used what I have here. What I'm going well, I don't have anything on my screen at the moment really, but um, I used the code. I'll you know write down now for you. Is you know code the, um, in my project actually. I used it in my college project, and it you know it helped me out a lot because it allowed me to have this you know fake login thing even though it wasn't actually, you know, connected with any databases or anything like that. It was just, just the login, really. So, uh, I suppose let's get started. We're going to start with HTML, obviously, and we're going to, you know, put in all the forms and whatever else we need, you know, the field for login, password, and whatever else. And, you know, build some containers, some headers, and then um, also link our um, CSS um, file to this, because we're going to have to use some CSS to make it just nice look. Nice look, and obviously there's all different designs you can make, but I, I kind of have some design in my head already. So um, I have some notes on the paper over here, just you know some color codes, you know, some values for the codes, um, for the colors, some codes for the colors basically. So um, I suppose let's get started. This might be a two-part video. I'm not too sure, depending on how long the video will be. Okay. So first, obviously, we need to have our, you know, HTML and all of that crap. So that's it. It's done. So we're just going to call it login. That's how we're going to call it. Now we have to link in our. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a little, little bit of a mistake. We have to link our CSS file. So you know, with this program, um, Sublime Text Tree, it's absolutely dirt easy. Um, I think I called it login actually. Login CSS. If it doesn't work, yeah, it's actually written over here. So anyway. So yeah, that's it. We linked in our CSS file. We won't be using it just for now. We'll also, we obviously will not also. We obviously will use our um, CSS soon. But first, we need to you know have all of this built. So we're going to start with a div. We're going to build a nice little container. We need a container, so we're going to use class, and we're going to call it container. It just that's how we're going to call it. Okay, so we're going to close it. Next thing we need to have, you know, you know, some sometimes you want to have a nice little um, header, you know, saying, you know, logging into um, whatever, Google.com or whatever, you know, you get me. So we're just going to say div, and we're going to call this a header. So we're going to say equals, and we can call it a header, as I said. Okay, so header. Um, now, you know, obviously this is a header, so we just want to say h1. We, we could use h2, but we're just going to use h1 for this anyway. We're just going to use h1, and we're going to say um, login to YouTube. Just it's just a you know what came up to my uh, head straight away. You know from the head, from the top of my head. So I'm just going to close the div. So we we'll close this div. We don't close the container now. We we'll just leave the container still not closed. So now this is where it gets a bit not complicated but a bit nasty because it starts going into the forms and so on. So it's not that hard to deal with them, but um you do need to um you do need to deal with them. So we're gonna say name. We're gonna say um equals to login. So we'll just just say this. Okay. So on submit. So it's all there for us pretty much. We're going to say um, return space, don't forget the space, validate form, and then we need to, um, I think it's this, we close it like that, I think as far as I remember, so it might not work though, so um, yeah, hopefully it does work, I think that's how it is, I don't really remember. Let's say method, and then we say post. So that's it, that's, that's one part done. So it was a, a bit. It's a bit of a nasty part. Um, I'm not really sure will this work. I might have to fix something. They have my little doubts over here. So we say UL. 
Um, actually, I don't want this. I just want just it makes it really complicated. I don't like it. Like I don't like this program for doing that actually. So um, we write in um, ally, and we're gonna first start with a username. So I just say username. Oh Jesus! What the hell happened there? Username. Okay. And now we're going to start with um, the inputs. We need our inputs. So obviously a username is a um, you know we need some bar to um, write in the to create the field for our text. So obviously we're going to use um, input type and um, text. That's what we're going to use. But first I just want to make a class and I'm going to call it username. This is going to be used for it on in um, Java and so on. Um, so type obviously type is going to be text because um, that's we need a field to actually type in our um, password um, username not password sorry and we're going to say name and we'll say um, again username just username okay so that's all done next thing we need to do is um, close the alloy so we're just going to close it okay so that's that's done so that's all happy so now we need a field for our password and I don't know why I'm doing that anyway so we'll open another li and we say password password same way same way we we'll open a little input so input and we're going to call this we're going basically the same thing but we're just going to say password instead of a username so password okay so type now the type will be a bit different the type will be um, password because it allows us to um, you know have those circles you know it hides the password actually while we type in so it's, it's quite nice to have and then we're going to say name and we're going to say exact same thing the opposite though but you know password and that's it and we just close this and we close the ally and we also close the um, ul that's that's done that's all fun happy days I'm going to just make this a bit smaller maybe a bit a bit too big maybe okay so the next thing is we need to make a little you know like a, a button you know you you do want a button so we're going to say um input again we're going to say input we're going to say type equals to button because we need a button we could use a submit button but i'm just going to use um button and submit that's that's how we're going to call it and um, the class okay okay we're going to say value because we need to have you know we want to have the button actually saying something inside of it you know usually we have like you know sign in that's the, the common one you know or login or you know let's actually use login it doesn't really matter what we use we could write in a, anything we want there so anyway and then we're going to call it um, submit again so submit and then we need um we need a um, can't think on click on click that's what we need on click and I think it's uh, let's just say validate at the moment let's just say validate we just uh, you just have to I kind of like um, having my um, things named properly so they kind of make a bit of sense anyway that's besides the point um, what else do we need to do let me see. Um, okay, we have a close. We have to close our form, and we didn't close the container. So yeah, okay. So we need to close our form, and we have to close our div. So that's it. That's that's done. Okay. So now this is where things might get a bit complicated, because we're actually going to start going into Java. Bit of JavaScript, not Java, but JavaScript. So, you know it's going to get a bit messy so I'm actually going to do this as a second part video because it'll just it'll make it a bit cleaner so you could catch up and so on with me so I see you in the next part so thank you for watching do subscribe like whatever else and uh, part 2 will be uploaded the same time as part 1 so you won't have to wait or anything like that so uh, see you in a bit next part this probably will be in a playlist so it'll make it easier for you to uh, watch this kind of process of all of this code.